Hello everyone, welcome to the guide. Today we're doing Viper on Bind defense first. So we're going to focus on the defense position setups and lineups that can help you out when it comes to defending uh, the site. So there's one very um, easy setup that I do most of the rounds is when I just do a wall that goes straight up to B, but I play on A. The goal of this is the same as my uh, wall on Ascent, where I just help the other side with my presence, even though I'm not there. There's, of course, of course a gap here, uh, but it doesn't really like matter that much. You just want to make sure that no one wants to cross uh, Garden before you knowing. Right here, if someone crosses this, you can just spam the wall and kill that guy, if you know that someone crosses. Uh, and because of that, now we have Global Presence, because you're going to put your Toxin Cloud either on here on the floor or as a one-way. And I do prefer putting it in, uh, put it uh, to put it on the floor, because right now with the instant delay, people are just afraid of going through it because they'll get so much damage, right? Even after the nerf. And second of all, you can always counter a one way uh, with your own smoke. So if you put a one way here, then a second smoke lands here, and the one way is basically worthless. It will not deal damage, and people will just go through it, right? So how I do this is I stand in this corner next to the truck. I aim somehow around here, like take this, take this, um, I don't know, the crack, then you aim to the right, and a little bit low, a little bit lower. You don't have to be super precise, it's not a precise lineup, it's just somewhere around here. You aim there, you throw it with the left click, and it lands in a perfect spot where people have to body peek completely, right? So they're in a very disadvantageous position and they don't see any, anything from being in this corner. So this holds any pushes by anyone. And what is even more important, if someone is standing here, he's going to get spammed through the, uh, through the box and gets probably killed. If someone stands here, you always can just use your molly uh, to make sure that no one is pushing after your smoke goes off, right? Because you have your smoke, you know it's going to, t to be turned off, so you just throw the molly here. You turn it off, and this corner is checked because of that. And if someone was standing here, then you have an easy kill. To throw the one way, just stand in this corner here, and aim at this spot. Like this. Then it lands on the box, and you have a one way. But the thing is, as I said, I don't really like the one way because it's too easy to counter. Like, people can just go through this not get any damage, right? If they put just the smoke here in this area. So I really don't like this. Even if it's like put further down the road here, it doesn't really give you that much if it's get countered by a one way by by a smoke in front of it. And that help that happens very often. Now, this is the let's say setup one that you will use most of the time because you can just pop the pop the smoke, pop the wall, right? Pop the wall, pop the smoke, and you make just sure that no one is pushing through a uh a short what also can happen is that if you know there's a jet you can actually stand here because what the jet always does is she goes to the smoke and just dashes into a smoke here they always smoke this area and that's here so you have an easy skill of your life if she just dashes into you all right just don't make an angle like this because you can get spammed here people like to spam from this angle towards this angle all right so if you stand like this no one will hit you Unless they literally saw you through a, I don't know, camera or something, right? But you have the easy skill on your, of your life on jet. You can always just hold from this hand, uh, from this angle. So if the people um, will push through the smoke, you have an easier time of killing them because of the damage. Uh, the snake bite and so on. And if the jet dashes, you still have, a, have an easy kill because you just transfer, spray into the smoke. She's probably dead after like three bullets. Um, so that's one thing. Now, when it comes to showers... You can sometimes put your smoke, uh, if you want to play for orb control, like this. You just pick minimalistically, like this. Left click. It just lands in front of showers. This is also very useful if you have a, a smoker in your team that can do a one-way uh, on a short. Like a Brimstone or an Omen or an Astra. Ask them to make a one-way for you here. So you can take the orb... All right, you can take the orb, um, like every round. Oh, uh, you can pop it off, <coughs> and now when it's active, you can take it 
and go back. Remember, it's still active for a short period of time, even when you take it. What? Look. And the, the range has actually increased, so you have an easier time of picking it up. You can time this. If, you, if you're actually very fast, you can time this to go back. Alright, now, next setup is like a variation of this. You still do the wall on B, because that's something you want to do every single round. It helps you out um, while retaking B side as well. And B is so hard to retake, you need help. So you basically stop them from pushing, and you help your team by um, by retaking. It's very valuable. It's very valuable to have this wall on uh, on B every single time. But you can always like angle it a little bit to the right, so it ends like here. There's less spot here, or just angle it more into the garden in case you know. Depends on your playstyle and how you play with your teammates. Now, when you have your ultimate ready, this is the easiest setup. Very similar to what I do on Ascent, but this is even more powerful because of the way Bind is built. You can literally just get two people on A side, you and someone else. This The other teammate of you, the, his only job will be to guard showers. You do a one-way for him in showers. You aim here on this line. Left click. It just lands over this. And now we have a one-way in showers. And that person, that person with you, has only have to hold uh, the, the one way in showers, right? You just hold this here, or from heaven, or from the other side, doesn't matter. The only job of this guy here is to hold it so no one breaches that. In the meantime, you do the wall on B, and then you use your ultimate on A short. What does this do? Um, is It applies insane amount of pressure on A short and on A showers. So people will feel reluctant to push uh, to push that. If they feel reluctant of pushing that, then they will go to B, where you have your wall to stop the push, and you will have three of your teammates defending there. It's crucial, though, that they are just sitting on site. They don't die on Garden or, or, or on Hookah. They just sit on site and just hold it, because they will get pushed. 100%. Unless you die as a Viper in any short. It can, you know, it can happen. Remember to play around like Showstoppers, uh, Orbital Strikes, Hunter's Fury, Sova Drone, stuff like this can, can make you die in your ult. But in general, like at the beginning of the round, the barrier drops and you do an ult like this. And immediately after doing the ult, immediately after doing the ult, you have to go back and just put a snake bite. If your opponents have a jet and a race. Because sometimes people will be like, oh, he ulted, he's a little bit, like, you know, uh, defenseless because of the ultimate setup time. So I'll just push him. This is the moment when you have to use the snake bite. I'll show you again. But this, you have to make this only if they have an aggressive jet or a race, okay? So basically you do this. Remember the timer on the ultimate is very long. So you don't have to worry about it. Look, look how long it is. Once you're certain that no one pushed, you can go back into it. You use one snake bite, so no one should be here. You can spam like a few bullets here in case someone is close, he dies, right? And then you just hold this. They're most likely not gonna come to you, and then gonna come to either A showers. They will see the one way, and the one guy will punish them for doing that, so they will go back. They cannot go for A short because you still have one snake bite, and you just hold this because when they are very low on HP, so you have easy kills with your Phantom. Uh, and on B, there's a wall. That's basically it. But there's another uh, setup that I really like um, on A side, especially if my opponents don't have a Sage. If my opponents don't have a Sage, I'm just putting a Toxin Cloud. That's something I'm doing on Icebox for a very long time. I'm, not, I'm just putting my Toxin Cloud here on this like box, whatever you call it, here. And you cover the default plant. The entire default plant. So if someone wants to plant the spike, he needs to do it in your Toxin Cloud. Essentially, this turns your Toxin Cloud into a Nano Swarm that coincidentally also blocks vision. Right? So, when someone just wants to plant, he gets insane amount of damage. You just put a Snake Bite in this and he either dies or you just stop the plant. You can always just remember, practice those like this, you know. Here, here. Just always remember to cover the entire default. 
and that basically stops them from planting right it's very very useful this setup is very useful when you have another smoker in your team that can do the one ways on a short and just smoke somewhere deeper <clears throat> somewhere deeper the voice crack uh and then you can use your toxin cloud in here right this is a very powerful strat especially if your opponents don't have a sage because you insta kill them if someone is planting even without snake but if someone is just planting here he gets instant 30 damage and then every single damage he gets 10 damage that means that your phantom that leaves no bullet traces can just spam this and just kill the guy who's planting because there's no sage wall and if there is a sage wall because you will uh use your smoke and you will use your uh snake bite to stop the plant that means you have time to destroy the sage wall and go back to the point where your opponent basically plays no sage right the same applies on icebox i do literally the same on icebox on b side i just put the toxin cloud on site because it just stops the default plan and, and allows us to retake uh faster essentially because there's no uh no plant um right and then when it comes to b now actually you can also if you ever consider putting a sh a, a uh, smoke into showers always remember that the smoke should end like this or here so if you put a smoke uh in showers like in front of the entrance just make sure you want to put it this way you're gonna do that like during the middle of the round so this is actually a little bit too too deep towards the side uh here this is perfect like it, it you want to make sure that someone peeking from this gets the full damage, right? So this is this is probably the best possible um, smoke in showers if it's not a one way, right? You just put it here, in this spot, or or, or in this spot, right? So they have a hard time. This is actually also too deep, right? Put it in between this and this. And now they have a really hard time peeking this as well. But in general, on, on showers, you would rather prefer to have the one way uh, or just the smoke here. This way. And now they have a really hard time pushing through this. Now, when it comes to setups on B, I really play B on bind. Because because Viper is just so powerful on A. She's insanely powerful on A. So I don't really like to play on, on B because of that. But if I have to play on B for some reason, there are, there's a lot of setups that I can do. Uh, the wall on on Garden and, uh, and Hookah is very powerful. But if I start the round on B, when you want to set up your wall on A, you just go into Hookah, stand in this corner, and you aim towards garden, but in a way that there's no space outside of garden. So more like this. And in this case, in this case, you have everything covered. People can go through here without revealing themselves. And you cover the same way hookah that you did before, essentially. All right? No one can stand in this corner as well because they get uh, they get the green vision. And the wall went through the teleport, by the way, for some reason. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that wall is your setup, as always on B, because it's just so powerful to stop a push. Right? But what you can do with the Toxin Cloud is you can put it on site to act as a Nano Swarm again. Right? You just put it here, and it covers every single plant. I mean, by every single plant, I mean defaults. It doesn't cover this plant, right? But th then they have to plant in the open. And because of this, you can easily kill people if they try to plant. You can also hide in the smoke alone here. So you can surprise people because when you turn off your smoke, you have a small advantage when it comes to peaking. It's like around 100 milliseconds. So it's actually very significant. So when you stand in this and you turn it off, you have an advantage at peaking. And also when you spam through the walls, so if someone is planting default and you spam this, you can instantly, instantly kill them because they are getting so much damage. If someone is also like planting here, you can spam through this as well. 
like here. You can kill them as well. And in case you want to use your snake bites from elbow, it was very easy to do. You just bounce it from this spot. Oh, shit. Sorry for that. I press my control, which is the ghost. So you go, you will go forward. You go forward <laughs> and you bounce it from the wall like this. And it lands on the default spot. This can be used both for defense and attack. And attack, right? Depends on your uh, on your plant. Now, very interesting spot when it comes to um, when it comes to defenses is that when you rotate from A or from B, like let's say, um, let's say they are afraid of coming to B because of the wall, right? You have your wall set up here. Uh, you made them go teleport. There's an entire team that teleported right now. You can help your teammates on A by playing, let's say, in a way that you can also see on the Ascent uh, guide that I made, where you try to uh, limit the possibilities of your opponents after the teleport, right? So you stand in this corner, and I have two setups here. One is a setup for a shower, um, a shower snake bite here, right? So what do you do? is you put your line of health, the one here, the end of it, towards this small, this small triangle here. This one small triangle. You put your health line there, right? And from this spot, you use your snake bite. And it lands perfectly in front of showers. So when they teleport from B, they cannot push from showers. You have to time it a little bit. You have to wait a few seconds uh, after the teleport to make sure that it lands and stays there. But this allows, this snake bite allows you to rotate to A from B without them breaching the side. So you stand here and you do this. And it lands in front of showers. The second one that you want to use, in case they go from short, you will use it for default here. And what do you have to do, right? This is default. What you have to do is you're going to set up your box of the left click on this tower. There's a scar here, like this little thingy, right? So you want to, uh, you want to set up your box on the tower underneath this scar a little bit. And this goes for default. Like this. So remember, it's actually pretty impactful that you make it correctly. <laughs> Once more time. Stand here. Put the box beneath the scar on tower. Left click. And this delays your enemy's plant. This is not a post plant lineup. This is a plant. This is a snake bite. That stops the plan for my opponents when they rotate from B to A. Right? It gives us additional time, basically. Or helps the teammates on an A. Now, there are options of doing one ways uh, on Garden with like Toxin Cloud, but I don't think they're, they're worth it, to be honest. So, uh, you should focus on working with your utility on those basic setups. Because you can be very effective with them once you know the timings, once you know how to manage the fuel, once you know how to manage uh, your ultimates. Because on defense, it's very different than on attack. But yeah, when it comes to defend de defending on bind, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. Um, and next video guide will be about the attack. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subbing if you liked it.